there, my name is Jessica. I am an Agnes and Dora representative and I have an in-home boutique selling um, beautiful clothing for women. And I wanted to talk today about um, one of the methods I use for sale, sales, which is selling on Periscope or selling during a, an online live video. So I just wanted to give you some of the tips and things that I have for selling via Periscope. Um, I've been selling via Periscope for about um, six months now for Agnes and Dora and um, watched uh, my sister and another friend um, have a lot of fun and some great success with their own businesses, um, different different product lines, um, utilizing Periscope. So um, it's been a great tool for my business. It's taken some time, it's taken some consistency, um, but it has been a lot of fun and I've made a lot of great friendships through it. So um, I've got like um, a few little notes here, like nine tips. Um, so I uh, thought I would take you guys through these. So. Tip number one for Periscope is have fun, okay? So being able to interact live with customers and show off your goodies is a really fun way of selling. It's a really great way to interact. Um, it's really convenient. Um, also to be able to just work from my home and connect with people. Um, but it's important to create a fun environment for your customers. So have a good looking layout, have amazing lighting. Lighting is very, very critical. To, especially to selling um, something that is color. So either cosmetics or jewelry or clothing, which is what I do. Um, it's really important for customers to be able to see their true color, okay? So if you don't have good lighting, um, it can be difficult. And that usually involves investing in a lighting kit, which may be like $50, uh, depending on what you wanna do. So mine was like $70 on Amazon. I got something a little bit nicer, um, but there's plenty of $50 kits that are great. Okay. Um, again, having a great fun time is important. People will want to spend time in your scopes and with you if they are enjoying um, how you're interacting and what you're showing. It's not just about the clothes. It's about the experience you bring into selling the clothes. So my mom always told me when I was growing up, if you look like you're having a good time, people will want to hang out with you. So I try to keep that in mind when I create um, my live sales and um, my interactive experiences on Periscope. Um, number two is wear your product. So again, I sell clothing, so I try to always be wearing the clothes. Um, I want people to see how it looks like. I even also, um, you know, change clothes several times during a live so that they see how different things fit. I don't change on camera usually. I usually go off to the side, chit chat for a minute, and then come back in. Um, but wear the clothes. If you're not in love and showing off how great your stuff looks, whether it's clothes, jewelry, cosmetics, whatever, um, then how are people supposed to trust you? And that's a big part of it, um, is getting them to know you, to like you, to trust you, and then buy from you, okay? So um, Periscope is challenging, for sure. It takes time to build an audience. It takes time to build that trust and credibility. So you have to be really consistent and um, really persistent as well. So try to figure out a schedule that works for you. Be on there consistently and regularly. Um, me personally, I do like three or four shows a week. Um, I was doing like four to five, um, but as my business has grown, um, I'm being pulled in other directions on other things, and so I find that focus time is, is helpful in Periscope. Um, having a schedule is good. People know when to expect you and they look forward to hanging out with you, okay? And that's kind of how you develop some of your regulars is they're like, oh, I know she's gonna be on Tuesday nights. Tuesday night, we're gonna do this fun thing. Oh, I know I'm gonna be able to shop um, my size with her on Saturday night or Sunday night, etc. So planning a schedule and sticking with it is really helpful. Um, and then it helps people to recognize you as well, all right? Um, next tip is selling and showing the product, okay? So be prepared when you go on with what you're gonna show, whether you're having um, tops and tunics night, whether you're having turquoise night, whether you're having skirt a skirt party, um, whether you're doing a fun trivia night, then um, be prepared for that. And then also be prepared to take your time and let people really enjoy what you're showing. It's not just about like number one, number two, number three, number four. It's like, let's talk about this great pullover. Look how pretty the colors are. Let me explain to you how soft the fabric is. Let me tell you some of the design sensibility behind it. Let me give you some inspiration on outfits that you could pair with it. Um, let's talk about your specific size or shape and how that might impact you versus me. Um, and really like show it, kind of finesse it, romance the product a little. Um, and um, 
you know, give customers a chance to fall in love with it and really see it versus just showing it for, you know, five or 10 seconds. So, um, showing it for a couple of minutes if you can and really enjoying it is great. Um, that's the other thing with Periscope is I found that being on longer, um, sometimes the beginning of the scope is not as impactful as later on in the scope. So that's why it's good to have a schedule so people know what to expect. But sometimes when you get on, um, people may be watching another scope. So they may pop over and say hi, and then pop back to the other scope and finish what they're doing over there, and then they come back to you. So you need to still be there when they come back. Sometimes too they say, oh, this person's still going. They must have something really interesting going on. Oh, they're doing really something really fun tonight. Or they must have a lot of things to cool things to look at. Um, and so sometimes people will come and go a couple of times, and that's why it's good to be able to stay on and be persistent. So I have done periscopes where the first 30 or 45 minutes have been dead. Either one or two customers, not many customers, no sales. And then the second, like 45 minutes, the second hour, all of a sudden it picks up, everyone shows up, uh, people are buying, people are commenting, and it totally changes the dynamic, but it all happened in the second half. So again, that's where that kind of like persistence pays off, okay? Building credibility, like I said, so scheduling comes to that, having a good time comes to that, and just being there. Um, people, like I said, they have to know you and like you, and they have to feel like confident buying from you and that you're going to be there to solve any issues they have or that they can buy from you again in the future, okay? So um, don't delete your Periscope videos. Leave them in that. I mean, unless something really horrible happened to them, like really bad, like either like you flashed someone that you shouldn't have flashed or whatever. But otherwise, leave it up there. Let people see you as you and let them see what you've been showing. They can shop the replays, but they also see that you're like very consistent and very regular and that you've been scoping for three months. And isn't that awesome? So it did take me some time to get that ramp up. There were many, many times when it was only me or I sold one thing or nothing, but I showed stuff. Um, but I was slowly, slowly gaining, you know, a new follower, two new followers, three new followers, um, slowly, slowly building up that credibility. So in Six months of doing this, I have a following of almost 600 people, um, and it's legit, like, women. No creepers. Like, I've blocked plenty of people. But um, it's, a, it's a good group. And so I don't see all of them every time, but um, I do have some good relationships with them, and um, we have fun. I mean, that's the other part of Periscope, and really I think the secret and one of the things that's helped me grow is you can't just expect people to watch you and not provide reciprocity, okay? You need to give back um, and pursue other people on Periscope as well. I'm not saying pursue, but I'm saying give them that time. Watch their scopes. See what they're doing. Interact with them. Um, learn about their businesses. If you create those relationships and friendships on Periscope, they will bring it back to you. And that's really where the real growth comes is that they like you, they trust you. Um, so not only do they buy from you, but more importantly, they share the broadcast and um, they invite their friends and their followers to follow you because they think you have something cool to offer. Okay. So the, the social piece of Periscope is very important, that reciprocity. Okay. Um, like I said, be creative. Uh, give customers new reasons to watch you. So do different types of sales, do fun games and giveaways where it's appropriate, um, celebrate the holidays. Last week it was um, Halloween. I dressed up, I decorated my room in Halloween theme. I had like three or four different costumes that we changed throughout the night because we were talking about fashion. So I had used some of my clothing to create some costume looks. Um, so be creative and do some fun things. We do fun games sometimes. We do different types of sales, skirt party, um, shopping by size, dress party, tunic party, like different things um, to make it fun, interesting, create outfits, uh, do stuff in a pr certain price point. Like there's a lot of different ways to do it. Um, utilizing hashtags on Periscope is important because sometimes people will search for broadcasts based on and they'll use hashtags. So you want to think like a customer. So if you um, broadcast like specific names or styles of things that are specific to your own brand, that may not get the same result as saying like, so maybe your bracelet is called the forever wrap. Like if you put hashtag forever wrap, um, people may not know to look for that. Some might, some good customers might, but they may more likely to be able to look for a bracelet or tunics tops, dresses versus a certain name of a dress or a style. Although when they come in and start asking for those specific things, you know you have a fan. So that's really cool. Um, all right. Last tip is talking about 
um, awkwardness and creepers, which are what kind of deter a lot of people from pursuing Periscope or live selling, whether on Facebook or Instagram, as a venue or a vehicle for selling their business. So awkwardness happens. No one's perfect on camera all the time. Um, be accessible. Be you. Make mistakes. Trip over your mannequin. Uh, put your shirt on backwards. Get the sleeve tangled. Like that's stuff that's real. Um, and you know that customers can engage with and they relate to um, if you can get them helping you out in situations that's good too um, so for example talking about creepers um, they're a thing on periscope on periscope you are engaged with a public audience anyone can watch your scope um, and so that's how you attract new people to your business but you do also attract maybe some unwanteds um, for your type of business it's okay they're just lame guys usually who have nothing better to do than you know put creepy words on a periscope okay don't let them bug you don't let them get to you make a joke block move on get your audience engaged in that as well we had one the other night this guy just kept coming back coming back with a new i blocked him he come up with a new similar name a new similar name we just kept blocking him and we were all laughing i was like guys we can do this all night right they're like yeah we can so um you know we made it fun we made it laugh eventually it went away we, you know, we outlasted the guy but don't let them get to you there's nothing they can do to you except they just want to try to disrupt you so um but those are my tips periscope's been great for me it's been great in helping me grow my business um not only from sales but in attracting um new friends um, and um, meeting people who are now with our team. So it's a great vehicle to kind of share and communicate information. Um, you can find your tribe there. You can find the people that fit your style and fit what you're selling or fit what you want to talk about, even if you're just selling inspiration. So for me, Periscope's been good. Um, Facebook is also equally good. It's come, you know, Periscope was first. Facebook Live came second. Um, similar rules apply. So um, keep it fun, uh, be persistent, be consistent, be creative, and um, grow your business with Periscope. So thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Um, you can reach out to me. I'll put my contact info in the post. And I'm happy to talk to you about Periscope or about our opportunity. So thank you so much. Have a good night. Bye-bye.